All right, so now that my makeup is done, let's talk about the Sultry palette. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with the newest palette from Anastasia, the Sultry palette. Ta-da! The packaging. I know, I just wanna look at it all day, especially in these lights. It's so beautiful. This palette is one that like, besides the packaging, I wasn't initially very excited about. Once I saw it in person though, I got a little more excited. It's definitely more of a smoky eye lover's dream. I feel like there is every single shade you need for any kind of smoky eye. There's both cool tone colors in here and some warmer colors. There's all sorts of metallic shades in here. There's also a black and a gray. So really it's just perfect for smoky eyes. I have kind of swatched this. I've played around with it briefly, but I haven't really done a real legit look with it yet. So it's kind of a first impressions, kind of not since I have swatched a couple things, but this will be the first like legit look that I'll be doing with this palette. So I'm very excited about it. Here's the before and after so you can see the final makeup look and what it's gonna look like when we are done with this palette and let's just get right into the video so I've got my brows on I use the benefit precisely my brow pencil this time I use the shade 4 I really like the shade these days I don't know and I am going to do the eyes first so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eyelid with concealer today I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier flawless fusion concealer I have been loving this you can use your favorite concealer this is just the one that I have really been reaching for a lot these days I'm just gonna go ahead ahead and blend that out all over the lid with my Thrive Cosmetic Sponge. I can't stop using this sponge, you guys. I'm sure you are aware since I've been using it in pretty much every single tutorial. It's just the best and it cleans so easily. It's shaped perfectly for everything that I need to do. I love it. I have like three of them and I want more already. So once the concealer is blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder, which I've been loving this as well. I'm not really sure how I got so much powder all over me, um, but I was trying to just get it on the eyelid. I must have not tapped off the brush very well. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer with this powder. Wow, okay. All right, you guys, we are prepped for eyeshadow. Now's the time that we dip into the Sultry palette. Wow, oh wow, I'm actually not really sure what I'm gonna do exactly today. As you can see, there's tons of options for like a metallic kind of finish. There's also brighter colors over here, like Bloom and Birch. So I might incorporate that. You could do something really classic and cool tone with these colors right here. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of into the shade called Twig, I think. I haven't actually worn this. I've just swatched it. This is Twig right here. It's a beautiful kind of taupey brown. I feel like that's a safe place to start. All right, dipping into Twig. Big. There's quite a bit of kickback on that. I'm gonna use this as our initial transition shade. I think it's gonna be perfect for whatever look I'm about to do. I don't think I can go wrong with this one. So I'm just building this up in light layers in the crease, kind of blending it out toward the end of the brow once there's less product on the brush, and then also sweeping it in towards this inner portion of the eye, just for a little more definition there. I'm just doing the same thing on this eye. I feel like I want to do something smoky. Since it's called the Sultry Palette, we should do something sultry. I'm actually building this up in the crease a little bit more than I had initially planned. I'm just kind of liking how that looks in the crease, so I'm really building it up pretty intense right in the crease and then it kind of fades out around the area but yeah I'm building it up pretty intensely. Next I'm going to dip into Birch which is this one right here and I'm just going to kind of press that right underneath the crease on the outer portion of the eyelid. I don't know if this is really going to show up after I'm done but I'm kind of wanting to warm up that outer portion of the eye right under the crease and I guess a little bit on the lid something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Dystopian, which is this dark brown shade. And we're gonna give this a whirl. I guess I really do want pretty smoky eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to buff this on the outer corner of the eye into the crease a little bit. And I'm just using light layers again to just build up the intensity. So far so good with these shadows. They seem to be blending out pretty nicely. It's kind of funny because when I looked at the palette, I thought that I already owned so many shades like this. But now that they're on my eyes, I really don't feel like I've done a look like this with cooler toned browns. And I think it's because I usually wear warm browns. It's kind of funny. It feels more diverse than I initially had thought just by looking at the shadows in the pan. All right, let's dip into some of these shimmer shades. I'm kind of into this shade right here, so I think that's what I'm gonna put on my eyelids first. I'm actually gonna use my fingers for this, and I'm going to apply this kind of towards the outer portion of the eye. I think that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love how the dark brown blends into that shade. 
I think they look really good next to each other. I'm just gonna take the brush I used with the dark brown and just make sure that these edges out here are nice and blended in with the shimmer shade so it's not like a stark line. Wow, that is so pretty. For the inner portion, I think I wanna use this shade called Cinder and I'm also going to apply this with my finger on this inner portion of the lid. Next, I'm gonna take Cyborg right here, and I'm gonna place this on the top inner portion of the eyelid. I feel like once we're done with the look, this would be a really cool inner corner color that's a little bit different from my usual highlight inner corner. The silver kind of adds something unique and different to a smoky eye. All right, so for me, I feel like this look requires some black eyeliner. I don't wear black eyeliner all the time, but this look needs it, I feel. I'm gonna use this one from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Perversion. I'm just gonna take this across the top lash line from inner corner to outer edge. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a much smaller brush and dip into the black shade in the palette called Noir, tap off the extra, and I'm gonna use this to kind of set and smudge that liner out. And this will kind of soften the edges and it will just kind of look better with the smoky eye. I'm taking my finger and going back into Ember, which is that darker bronze shade, and just kind of tapping that on the eyelid again to intensify it. And then I'm intensifying the cinder shade in this inner corner here. All right, I think I'm going to apply mascara now. Wait, no I'm not. I'm gonna clean up the fallout underneath the eyes first. There actually wasn't too much fallout considering this is a smoky eye. And I'm just gonna press down the line. Oh, my hand looks like it has a bruise on it. It's not, it's a lip swatch. <laughs> I always have stains on my arms and hands from lipsticks. Always, always, always. All right, now I'm going to apply mascara to the top lashes only. I'm gonna do a pretty hefty amount. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I have been on a kick with this mascara. I mean, obviously I've been using it for years now, but I started using it again recently and I just can't put it down. It's my favorite drugstore mascara. I always get mascara on my lid. I always just wait for it to dry and then it comes off right away. Now that it's dry, I'm just gonna lightly sweep over it to remove that mascara. There we go. So for primer today, I'm gonna to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna focus it kind of in the T-zone and around the nose. I've really liked what this primer does for smoothing my skin and filling in my pores. It's not a super heavy feeling, pore filling primer, but it definitely helps. And I think it looks really nice under most foundations that I've tried with it. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I unfortunately have to mix two shades, story of my life. I feel like I have such a unique undertone that I just have to like always mix drugstore foundations, especially even high-end ones recently, it seems like. I like mixing the shades light beige and sand beige. And I'm gonna go ahead and dot that on the face. Well kind of dot, more like smear it on the face. And then I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush, and I'm just gonna start to blend this out all over the face. I like to focus the coverage where I need it more, so my cheeks are definitely more red, my jawline has some acne scars on it, so that's where I like to focus it. Some people start from the inside of the face and move outwards. Because of my acne scars, I tend to kind of put more coverage on the outside of the face and less in the inside. So after I feel like I have distributed it pretty evenly, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and take what's left on the back of my hand and start to press this into the skin. This foundation is so beautiful. I love how flawless it looks once it sets. I'm gonna make sure to blend some down the neck. And then I'm gonna use the same Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I use the shade 1N for the under eye area. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and apply there. If I need to cover blemishes, I have a darker shade that I like to use. We'll kind of see what we need. Also putting it down the center of the nose, on the forehead. Cupid's well a little bit and a little on the chin. I might cover up this big old blemish over here. This has been here for so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the blemishes first. And then I always blend out the center of the face after the blemishes just because it's a lighter concealer. And if you blend out the lighter concealer first and then pounce it over top of the darker concealer over blemishes, it's gonna highlight the blemishes with the lighter concealer instead of concealing it with your skin tone concealer. If that made sense, I hope that made sense. That's why I do it in this order. I'm just blending out my forehead and also my nose. All right, dipping back into our powder, which is the Lawless Translucent Powder. I'm gonna use this all over the face, so I'm gonna set the under eyes first. Let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Twig, which is that taupey shade that we used as a transition on the top lid, and I'm gonna use this as kind of our transition on the lower lash line as well. Oh, it's not even focused. Sorry, guys. I'm just moving this back and forth 
across the lower lash line. This is such a good taupey brown. I love colors like this. Then I'm just taking a little bit of birch, which was that kind of mustardy shade, and I'm blending it right below. I don't know if it really does anything for this look, but I just wanted it there. I'm gonna start with Cinder, which was that color that we used in this inner portion here. It's that bronzy tone. And I'm going to apply it directly underneath where we applied it on the top lid, just so that we have kind of the same thing going on in the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into Ember, which is that gorgeous deep bronze shade. And I'm gonna smudge this really close to the lash line. And then I think I'm going to take the dark brown called Dystopian, which we used for this outer portion here. And I'm gonna take a small brush and I wanna really smudge that close to the lower lash line with a really small brush on the outer third of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go into Cyborg, which was that gorgeous silver shade that I started to apply on the inner corner. And I want to apply this on the inner corner and see what happens. Ooh, that is such a pretty silver. I think that's a nice little touch to the look. All right, I'm going to apply some mascara to the lower lashes now using the same L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm just gonna dust away any fallout under the eyes really quick. All right, let's warm up the complexion. We use the Thrive Cosmetics Bronzer. This is the Sun Chaser Ray Bronzer, which is the matte version. There's two versions. There's a shimmer one and a matte, and this is the matte. I'm gonna tap off the extra, and I'm just gonna kind of blend this over the cheeks with a fluffy brush. I felt like we were starting to look a little scary there with all the cool tones on the eyes. Gotta add some warmth back into the skin. Bronzer always makes such a difference. Bronzer and mascara, what would we do without them, you know? I'm blending the bronzer along the jawline, down the neck, and I'm really focusing it on the perimeters of the face. So the forehead, the temples, underneath the cheeks a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna use this to sculpt the sides of the nose a little bit, underneath the nose, and a little bit under the lip. That just makes the bottom lip look a little bit more pouty. For blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Blush, and this is in the shade Peach Primrose. I'm just gonna smile and apply that to the apples of the cheeks. I feel like a peach blush looks so good with these eyeshadows. It doesn't overpower them, but it adds warmth into the skin, which kind of helps bring out some of the gold shades in the eye, or on the eye, I guess, not in the eye. Talking about the eyeshadow here. Okay, so for highlighter, I could not not use this. The Sultry palette is Anastasia's kind of like a holiday palette. So I wanted to use a NARS holiday item. This is the High Voltage Highlighting Palette. Look how pretty all three of these highlighters are. NARS highlighters are some of my very very favorite the center shade in here is Fort de France which is one of my favorites right now there's also 1977 and Queen right next to it I think I want to kind of mix these two because this one looks gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and mix Fort de France and I think it's 1977 the lighter one I tap off the extra and let's just see what this does to the skin the thing I love about this formula is it's really buildable so you can work in layers and it never leaves like a super harsh streak or anything like that. You just build it up and it looks so beautiful. See, so pretty. I'm also applying it down the center of the nose. Cupid's bow as always. And I am going to apply a little bit of that just underneath the brow, just to lift that up a little bit. Now let's remove any foundation that got on the lips. I want to see how this L'Oreal lipstick looks with this look. It's my favorite from this range. It's the L'Oreal Color Riche Ultimate Matte Nude Lipsticks, I believe they're called. And this is the shade All Out Pout. I think that's going to be really pretty. I like to apply it and then blend it out with my finger. All right, before we lock everything in place, we're going to assess the situation. I want more bronzer on the forehead. What's new? Same old, same old. And I feel like I want just a tiny bit more blush, a little bit higher on the cheeks, like that. And now let's set the face. I'm going to set the entire face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I left my fan over there. We're just gonna have to use no fan. I'm just gonna use a piece of paper. And then for the outer portions of the face, I'm gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm gonna try to cover up the eye makeup so it just gets the outer portions of the skin. And that's going to really bring out the highlight. I'm gonna set the brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. All right, so now that my makeup is done, let's talk about the Sultry Palette. A++ for packaging, let's be honest. This is so 
gorgeous. I just want to carry it around with me everywhere. I think this is a really pretty palette. I like the look that I did. It's just colors that I don't normally play with. So I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing necessarily. It's just something that I've observed. These are not colors that I am familiar with. I love all the metallics in here. I think there's some gorgeous shades. I'm kind of curious to see what it would look like to use Bloom with the other shades in this palette. It's kind of an interesting color to be in this palette, but it also adds kind of versatility to it. I think it's a really pretty palette overall. I don't know if it's better than the Soft Glam palette. The Soft Glam palette, in my opinion, is a little bit more me. It's more warm tones though, so that might be something to consider. If you're somebody who wears smoky eyes a lot, this might be like the perfect palette for you. It just depends on your preference. I'm not mad that I have this in my collection now. I think it's a really pretty palette and I do think I'll use it again. I just don't know if I were to suggest you to buy an Anastasia palette if I would choose this one first. I would probably recommend the Soft Glam palette or even the Modern Renaissance, depending on how much color you like to use. But again, I like this look that I created, so it is a pretty palette, especially with the holidays coming around, I feel like this is awesome to use for kind of those smoky metallic looks. It's almost like a darker twist on a classic neutral palette. A little more of a sultry version. Ha <laughs> ha, cute. Love it. Honestly though, the packaging is stunning. I want to know what you guys think about this palette. Are you into it? Are you not into it? Do you own it? Are you thinking about picking it up? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about the sultry palette because as much as I love to share my opinion on products with you guys, I also love to hear your opinions on products. It really helps me out and also I'm just curious to know how you guys feel about things. So let me know in the comments below. If you are new here, I would love to have you on board. You can join the family by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, but you want to be notified every single time I upload, you can click on the bell after you subscribe. And then you'll be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I post my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I had a lot of fun playing with the Anastasia Sultry palette. That's all I have for you today. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.